Hello and welcome everyone to a new series, Life's a Game, all about conquering the game of life. Today's episode is Fear Mongering, and this is in relation to the channel Secure Team. Now, fear mongering is defined as the action of deliberately arousing public fear or alarm about a particular issue. Secure Team generally speculates and has a lot of hyperbole and conspiracy theories about UFOs and whatnot. Um, where it grinds to my gears is the fear mongering against NASA um, related to their cover ups, apparently, of technology or contact with aliens, and so on and so on. So, I'm going to go ahead and play part of this clip of this video uh, that Securitin uh, did recently that I'm going to respond to. And then I'm going to go ahead and break it down about their fear mongering and how, you know, it's pretty much just not based in any facet of reality or facts. A lot of them have been covered up since. However, when these images first came out, before NASA could get their hands on them, before they even had really the technology to edit out all of these structures, copies were made of the originals. And as predicted, when you try to find this so-called terminal, as it's called also, an airport terminal, uh, when you look at the photo today, of course NASA has blurred it and obliterated all signs that this amazing terminal-like structure was there. However, we do have these 1970s Mariner 9 images that are untouched and undoctored, showing this, again, Martian airport-like structure on Mars. And you can see here, this particular structure has been featured in presentations all over the world. Uh, you're seeing an image here from a presentation at the Exopolitics Summit in Barcelona in July of 2009 where the retired U.S. Army Command Sergeant Major Bob Dean had publicly announced that this interplanetary airport of sorts was real and does exist on Mars, or at least it did in the 70s when these images were taken. Now what you're seeing here is sort of an artist rendering of the original photo. Nothing has been changed, but the structure has been outlined, giving us more of an idea of what the object would Now, this is the kind of extreme <laughs> speculation that has not only, so let me sum this up. So not only has he inferred that NASA is actively trying to and has been covering up evidence of structures and historical artifacts on Mars, but they're currently still doing so and are doing so with this photo. And if you were to search for this photo, you wouldn't be able to find it because it's covered up. Yes, this is what he's claiming, right? So when you search this, say for instance, on Google, and you find other conspiracy theorists who actually have a better beat on this than he does, apparently, he couldn't do a Google search, even as, you know, part of his reference and, you know, research. You will find that you get a decently high quality uh, GIF image um, of when the Mariner 9 actually surveyed this location, which is also called uh, designation 4209-75. Uh, you'll notice that also here, uh, and all of this stuff will be in links in the description, that uh, he indicates a latitude longitude point. Um, when trying to find the NASA original, as it's been pointed out of this file, you get, you know, site cannot be reached, essentially a 404. Uh, same thing this guy points out here. And now, as you see, this image is the same one here. We're talking about the same place. Now, the reason this image can't be found there is because JBL moved their servers. And I don't know why it would surprise anyone or if it, 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 they, they think it would, but NASA isn't exactly, you know, super savvy on cataloging everything as they should. Now, you can find the Mariner 9 images on JBL, but you can't find the one that we're talking about. Now, just a quick, you know, you can see NASA posts new images all the time.
Now, this location, this area uh, of interest is actually called, <laughs> sorry, the Depression and the Avernus Cavi region. So this the whole area is the Avernus Cav Cavi region. Now, how would I find this? How would I know this? How would I go about actually confirming that, say, for instance, what you see here is the same thing as he showed in his images? Well, you open up Google Earth. You go ahead and you load up the coordinates right here. And you will find yourself in the Avernus Cavi region. Now, it's, it's a decent way up where the original conspiracy theorists had said this information was. As you see here, uh, the information was actually, what did he say? I'm just going to read it. He said that the, it was actually referenced from David Hatcher's Childress's book, Extraterrestrial Archaeology. And once again, I'll post all the links. But getting back to the, the meat of it here you'll notice that this depression here can be brought up. You can get all kinds of information about the last time they took a picture. And more importantly, does anyone see any sort of blurred out image here? I don't believe they do. No, no blurred out image. And then let, let's get closer on how I found better images. You can go to its ASU data which will pull up right here inside of Google Earth on my potato computer. What do we have here, people? Oh my goodness. NASA must have forgot this one, right? Oh my goodness. Look at that, secure team. There's the image. Unblurred, unfettered unrestrained completely for your eyes does that look like an airport terminal to you because that's a higher resolution photo of the same image that you claim has been covered up now it's you'd have to be blind comparing that image to anything else and 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 saying that was an airport terminal there's the image right in front of you. Here's the data. Secure team, look at the links. Go over it for yourself. I would love to hear a response from you because your fear-mongering is absolutely disgusting. NASA is a great organization. If you would take even the slightest bit of time to vet your own propaganda, you'd be able to find the answers. But instead, you'd rather take the easy route than the right route, and you instill fear into your viewers as a form of motivation to bring them back. You never searched any of the information to try and find the location yourself. You never did any research on the subject whatsoever. You regurgitated false information, which, you know, is a nice way of getting around to say that you lied, sir. Everything you said in your video was based on a lie, not the truth. It wasn't even a half truth because the information was never deleted. NASA had no intention of covering the information up. So, ball's in your court. Game on, buddy.